In the mid to late 90s, there was a comic book fad that today is kind of hard to explain, and the entire thing is really pretty embarrassing. It was bad girl comics, which were comics about a female heroine with impossible proportions and almost no clothing getting into bloody battles. These comics were usually pretty devoid of plot, had decent enough art, but were really nothing more than a delivery system for pinup shots. The essential plot of the comic was that Barbed Wire was sort of a thrill-seeker who lived in a dystopian sort of town, where she runs a bar and goes out and kills people for various reasons, usually as a bounty, which paid to keep her bar open. The movie stars Pamela Anderson, in a movie based off of a bad girl comic. Yes, this is officially the most mid-90s thing to ever ha exist. That being said... The plot of the movie is quite a bit punched up from the comics. The film takes place sometime in the future, where the United States is going through a second civil war. One side is the government, which has gone full-blown fascist, and the other side is the free territories, which are losing and becoming more occupied by the government. Fighting back is a resistance. Barb is at her bar and doing her bounty hunting like in the comic, but she becomes embroiled in a plot to smuggle a doctor out of the country. The doctor discovered the government's use of a highly weaponized strain of HIV, which had wiped out an entire city, and her blood can act as an antidote, so they have to get her to Canada. The problem is that no one can travel without having their retinas scanned, and although she has gotten plastic surgery to change her face, she has to get special contact lenses, which change hands several times throughout the movie, as they are a free ticket out of the United States, and therefore a free ticket out of the war. So they're a highly valuable item. Barb Wire is less of a thrill-seeker than in the comics and is more of a practical bounty hunter, though it may just be Pamela Anderson's delivery. She doesn't come across as enjoying herself, she seems annoyed by her own presence in the movie. That being said, Barb Wire has a shockingly good plot, which brings me to the reason that this movie blows. The shockingly good plot is the exact plot of Casablanca. Yes, there's more action scenes, more sexuality, some titty flashing, but this is essentially a remake of Casablanca with tits and explosions. Barb Wire is Rick Blaine, Timura Morrison's character Axel Hood is Ilsa Lund, and Victoria Rowell's character Cora D is Victor Laszlo. They basically just reverse the genders of the major characters, but they're exactly like they were in Casablanca, and the plot remains extremely true to it. This being said, I could have recommended a kitschy action movie with Pam Anderson as a thrill-seeking bounty hunter, if it was fun, but I can't recommend an act of blatant plagiarism, especially since they're stealing from such a serious film as Casablanca, which basically means that barbed wire isn't any fun at all. Literally the only good thing that this film has going for it was stolen, so I can't give it any points really, just a 1 out of 10.